Thank you, Tom. Tomorrow is the start of Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And joining us in the studio again this hour is Hannah Holma from the Women's Center. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. How about you? I'm doing great. Thank you for being here mm -hmm. today. And so, first of all, just you know, to catch people up on talking about Domestic Violence Awareness Month, what is this month about and what does that mean for you guys at the Women's Center? Yeah, so October, um, Domestic Violence Awareness Month, the primary focus is spreading awareness in our community on the impact of domestic domestic violence um, right here in our hometowns. Yeah, and it's definitely, you know, for some people might think, oh, it doesn't happen here, mm -hmm. it doesn't happen to anybody I know, but it is very real. Yeah, yeah, 10, 000, or 10 million people across the nation report having experienced domestic violence. Um, one in two women and two in five men report experiencing some form of domestic violence across their lifetime. So the number is pretty dramatic. And at the Women's Center, um, what are some of the numbers that you've seen there and what are some of those resources that you guys do provide? Yeah, so, so far this year we've served over 320 survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault. Um, and taken over 4,500 support line calls on our 24-7 support line. Um, some of the services we provide, um, we do legal advocacy, going to court with survivors, um, a lot of housing advocacy, as we know our community and across the nation are experiencing some housing sh shortages. So we work a lot with survivors on getting into safe, affordable housing of their own choosing. Um, we also have therapists, so free therapy, um, which is super, super important because we we know that there's also, uh, you know, shortage of mental health services. So, right. And how are you guys, you know, showcasing, bringing to light this mm -hmm. issue to the community throughout the month of October? Yeah. So we have a, a photo series project going on that will be um, up on our social media throughout the month. Um, pictures of survivors with their families, their pets, and a little bit of their story. So you can see that it's anybody in our community. Um, it's the person you're sitting next to right now potentially um, and that photo series along with the history of the Women's Center um, and survivor created art will also be up at the Peter White Public Library from the 1st to the 12th and then the Munising Public Library from the 14th through the 31st. Excellent. And we'll take a quick look at some of those events one more time on our screen. Uh, another thing you could do is wear purple every Friday to show your support. Those um, survivor art displays are happening at the Peter White Public Library and at the Munising Library. And then there is also coffee with an advocate on Tuesday starting next week. And there is an open house in Munising later in the month. For more information, you could go, always go to WCMQT.org. Hannah, thank you for being here this morning. We really appreciate you taking the time to share about about this serious issue. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me. Yes, of course. And we will be right back with more My UP Mornings after the break.